In this tutorial, we will be creating a simple input text field. When the user will type in the input field, the data will be sent to the server via jQuery. We will also be working on the response of the server. When the data will be sent to the server, it will return the data through jQuery after appending some text with it. First of all, we will implement the HTML over here. We will create an input text field and import the jQuery library. Now the library has been imported. The second step is to implement the jQuery. We have created an event key up for the input text box created in the previous step. The event will be created when the page will load. When the user will type in the text box, a function will be called that will handle Ajax. To implement Ajax with jQuery, you can use several methods. In this particular tutorial, we're going to explore the post method. The post method has four arguments, file, data, callback, and type. In our case, the first argument is the file located on the server. The second argument is the values needed to be sent to the server. The third argument is the response function of the server. And here's the Ajax code. The first argument of the post method contains the PHP file ajaxphp.php. The second argument is creating an object to store all the values. The third argument is the response function, i.e. it will be called when the server will return some data. The third step is using PHP. In our PHP code, we will be acquiring the values of our post variables and will be encoding our output code in JSON. Finally, the complete code for all our steps is joined together. With that done, we will have created a search box successfully. If we enter a value, you can see that the value is returned from PHP in real time.